so let us uh, see the generic additive manufacturing process <music> See here, this AM involves a number of steps that move from the virtual CAD description to the physical resultant parts, right? So if you see these various steps, that is the CAD, you have to make the computer added designing, say from the physical model or the image of object or from the design data. then this CAD file is converted to the STL file or STL format and then we are having the machine setups where the auxiliary geometry and the machine or process parameters we will, that will convert it into the conversion of part geometry okay and then we will get the part or a 3d object after that there are having certain uh, cleaning processes or remote processes and then we are having certain post processing process for this am parts also and it will go for the required application now if we see the generation of geometrical layers information on a single layer so here to produce the uh, 3d model by layer oriented am processes the 3d CAD solid must be math mathematically split into the same layers as those produces the physically or slicing okay so here we have to split this CAD solid or 3D CAD solid mathematically split into the same layers as those produced physically or as a slicing. So we have to do a slicing. So there are basically two methods of doing this. You can do the slicing by either triangulation that which leads to the STL format and the second one is that the direct cutting in the CAD system which will lead to the CL or SLI format but see here we will see the STL format this we will see here this STL format okay so STL is basically stereolithography so ST stereo and L for lithography which is a file format native to the stereolithographic CAD software. It is widely used for rapid prototyping. Also, it is used for 3D printing and computer aided manufacturing. Okay, this is STL format. So, the main purpose of STL file format is to encode the surface geometry of 3D object. And it encodes this information using simple uh, concept or method methodology of tessellation. T e s s e l l a t i o n tessellation. So tessellation basically is what? So it is a process of tilting a surface with one or more overlaps or graphs. So Tessellation can be involved simple geometric shapes or very complicated shapes. Okay. So, this is the basic thing regarding to the this CAD and conversion of CAD to this STL format. Okay. So, then we are having the machine setup. Okay for this additive manufacturing process then we are making the part then there are certain post processing processes that we have to follow and then use that part for the application okay
so these are the steps involved in the generation of additive manufacturing product okay so next point is this why we use the term the additive manufacturing okay by now we realize that the term am uses the additive processes combining material layer by layer but there are many other terms used in am so here we will see other terms that have been used to describe this technology so number a is automated fabrication so this is also called as autofab so this term was popularized by marshall burns in early of 1990s so this emphasis here is on the use of automation to manufacture a products computers and microcontrollers are used to control the actuators and to monitor the system variables so this term is also used to describe the other forms of uh, machining centers that is uh, you are having the nc cncs that is computer numerical control systems second one is free form fabrication or solid free form fabrication so the emphasis here is in capability of process to fabricate the very complex geometric shape the free form relates to the independence of for from the manufacturing process so whatever the form of the component or the product you have not to worry so this is free form okay for the manufacturing so this is very different than conventional manufacturing process due to much more involvement of the complex geometries okay then we are having third one is the stereolithography or 3d printing so basically these terms the two terms are used to describe the specific machines okay so the stereolithography term used by the us company 3d system and the 3d printing 3dp was widely used by the researchers at mit so both the technology uses 2d process and extending them into three dimensions so basically we are having the 2d processing and we just extend that 2d to 3d model and the last one we are having the rapid prototyping so the manufacturers or developers used to find the prototyping is complex tedious and expensive process during the development of new product okay but this rapid prototyping significantly speed up those processes hence this term is adopted as at the beginning of the topic we discussed about the rapid prototyping also okay but the against the users and developers are realizes that am technology used for much more than just prototyping so we basically seen this at the beginning of the chapter now let us see some benefits of additive manufacturing so number 1 first consider the rapid character of this technology the speed advantage is not just term of time it take to build the part but speeding the entire product development process so as we discuss same here again the prototyping development is one of the crucial thing in the context of the product development cycle and the most of the management peoples or the organizations want this process to get with a faster speed or within a less time so again it is a industrial or management strategy and to fulfill that okay so these technologies were adopted 
and that's why the turn rapid here is used so rapid is not in the sense of only making the part or prototype speedily but it is hampering or it is affecting the entire process of the process development product development okay so since 3d cad is being used as starting point as we see in the steps involved there is a 3d cad system first which is converted to stl file okay and transfer to am is relatively seamless so there is much lower concern over data conversion so it is a seamless transformation so we need not to worry much okay so basically in 3d care system what we are seeing that here see what we see is what we get by the drawings or 3d uh, modeling what we are seeing that what you see is what you get but in case of am it is very important that what we see is what we or what you what you see is what you build directly because you are building here the prototype directly from this drawing or what is our 3d modeling whatever the this data you are having you are build not only see the model but you are see directly the prototype okay that is the thing that is the benefit of AIM. the seamless can also be seen in terms of the reduction in process steps if there is a simple change in design in the conventional method where will be significant increase in time required to build the product am can predict the amount of time to fabricate the model regardless of what change is implemented see in the conventional machining uh, process or manufacturing process if any design change is there so according to that change we will there will be the enormous changes we have to make in its manufacturing process or there are definitely the changes will occur in the the order of making or something we have to add or something we have to eliminate yes or no so for that we required the long time there will be the long time again required to build the product but in am am can uh, predict the amount of time to fabricate the model regardless of whatever the changes you are implementing in the uh, current phase of that product okay so that is the beauty number five see am with use of some supporting technology like silicon rubber modeling drills polishers grinders etc it can possible to manufacture a vast range of different parts with the different characteristics so if you have the supporting technologies like this silicon rubber molding drills polishers grinders along with this additive manufacturing we can have the vast range of different parts with different characteristics and one thing very important here so the workshop which adopts this additive manufacturing technology are much cleaner and more streamlined than the conventional uh, manufacturing method please remember this so workshops are very clean are more streamlined and more versatile than it before okay so next thing we will discuss in the next video thank you